Hi there, welcome to another in our series of short videos on behavioral economics. In this session, we'll focus on anchoring. A few months ago, Café Rouge decided to put on their menu an enormous 32 ounce bull's head steak. Here's how that steak looked in the ranking of size of steaks on offer to consumers, all the way from the five ounce minute rump through to the big 32 ounce one. And uh, you'll need to know that this 32 ounce steak was 45 pounds. So what was going on here? Well, the behavioral economist would perhaps suggest that the 45 uh, pound 32 ounce steak is not necessarily one that Café Rouge would expect to sell a lot of. Essentially what they're doing here is inserting, a, perhaps for most consumers, a largely irrelevant piece of information as a kind of reference point. Uh, because that might actually influence the decision or choice that people eventually make when they're choosing off the menu at Café Rouge. You see, the £45 steak could conceivably mean that instead of choosing a 7 or an 8 ounce fillet or sirloin steak, consumers might be tempted to nudge their decision towards the 15 ounce ribeye on the bone. The £45 sorry, the £45 or 32 ounce steak is a huge difference between the two, but it then puts in context 15 ounce, which appears to be relatively smaller. And this is what we mean by anchoring. Anchoring is when businesses or people use an anchor point. Uh, of, it could be an event, it could be a price of value that they know in order to make a decision or an estimate. So an anchor is a value or an imprint in our mind which we then use as a kind of mental reference point when making a choice. In some cases, uh, the anchor establishes in our mind a low price. Think, for example, the entry of McDonald's into the kind of retail coffee market, the decision to choose a sort of 99p price for a standard cup of coffee. It's a very different price to the, the classic sort of £2.15 or £2.20 for a, a flat white at Costa Coffee. So Starbucks and Costa may have a different anchor to McDonald's. Other, other big examples are in the, in the sporting world that uh, the anchor could be the, the size of the home crowd acts as a kind of anchor for refereeing decisions over the course of a season. Uh, companies such as taxi companies and restaurants, they may use uh, anchors as sort of recommended tips. Recommended tips of 5% or 10% could be the basis by which a decision is, make, is made. Now, uh, in the housing market, for example, people use uh, the lowest minimum price, an anchor price of, let's say, £500,000 for a house in West London, for example. So anchors are basically bits of information they're used as reference points when people are making a decision. And if people do use anchors, that is known as a cognitive bias, a behavioural bias, which we need to factor into account. Businesses need to choose carefully their anchor price, because once that becomes indelibly imprinted in people's minds, it's quite hard to change. So the anchor price becomes a key decision for businesses. And it's an important part of behavioural economics.